There's uh, many of them that are being discovered all over the world now, these subspecies of yes. human beings. Yeah. Um, this is uh, a, a, an issue that I go into in, in America before. And what first drew me into it was uh, Denisova Cave mm -hmm. uh, in Siberia. I think everybody's heard of the Neanderthals, and these days I think everybody's heard of the Denisovans as well. A lot of people haven't. A lot of, well, I guess a lot of people haven't. But, yeah. but f first of all, let's take the Neanderthals. Okay. Uh, for a long time it was held that the Neanderthals were stupid, primitive subhumans, shambling, lacking symbolism. Turns out that that's not true at all. The latest scientific on, uh, evidence on the Neanderthals is that they were symbolic creatures, that they did do art, that they were in every sense human, and they were in every sense human because anatomically modern humans interbred with Neanderthals. You can't interbreed with another species. They, they clearly were uh, hum human beings, but they looked rather different from us. And that's why certain populations in the world today still have three to five percent of Neanderthal uh, DNA. Then in Russia, in Denisova cave, they find a single pinky bone from a little finger. And uh, they do the DNA testing on it, they're able to get a complete a genome from it. And what they discover is, this isn't a Neanderthal, this isn't an anatomically modern human being, this is another human species, uh, who they named the Denisovans. They think they're more closely related to Neanderthals than they are to anatomically modern humans, but they're clearly another human species. And they also interbred with anatomically modern humans and Denisovan DNA survives interestingly enough it survives uh, predominantly in Australasia uh, in Papua New Guinea and amongst uh, Aust Australian Aborigines.